your problems, help you to solve them. Like I'm your best friend, all your tears I wipe them, your photos I like them. Girl, have no fear. Anytime you call me, baby, I will be there. A shoulder to cry. My name is Maureen Alexander. I'm going to be presiding over this absolutely vital, absolutely remarkable um, stepping stone This in, in what is we about to unveil here. But please first allow me to establish the protocols. I would like to recognize the Minister of Tourism, Investment, Creative Industries, Culture, Information, the Honorable Ines Hilaire. Ambassador of the Republic of China, Taiwan, to St. Lucia, His Excellency, Peter Chen. Thank you. <laughs> Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Tourism, Investment, Creative Industries, Culture and Information, Donna Lynn Vite. Is she here with us? She has not reached us yet, but she should be joining us. She hasn't recovered. I can understand totally. <laughs> also, the, the Chair of the National Export Council, Ms. Yvonne Agard. She's here, All right? Board members of the National Export Council, the CEO of Export St. Lucia, Ms. Sunita Daniel. Officer in charge at the St. Lucia Tourism Authority, Anya Whitfield. Mr. Thaddeus Antoine couldn't join us. So. Destination Marketing Manager of Discover Dominica Authority, Andia Ravier. Did I get it right? I butchered it somewhat, yeah? You, we're gonna fix this going forward. I, I, I listen, I battled it with since last night, I say, I hope I get it right. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, communications and public relations specialist of Discover Dominica Authority, Monel Alexis. Then we segment musicians, producers, staff at Export St. Lucia, specially invited guests, media, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this wonderful, and like I mentioned, momentous occasion. It is the unveiling ceremony of Artist Dominica Creole Music Festival 2024. And there is a reason why we are doing it here, because a partnership is about to be created that, you know, if you're a music lover, if you're a cultural enthusiast, if you're just a person who wants, who likes progression, this is going to make sense this morning. And I am elated as a person who's been in the industry for quite some time, um, and not just in the industry here in St. Lucia or just there in Grenada. My passion for what it is that we can achieve as a people through the culture and through music and through our creatives, I, I believe so strongly and passionately in. So this, when I heard of that, I said, they say, listen, we want you to do this for me. But I didn't focus on the role, you know, because I heard the mission. And I, I, I immediately jumped into, wow, this is where we need to be going. And I am, I am going to be honored. And I jump back to the role and say, okay, I'm honored to be part of this. <laughs> so thank you guys for including me into this wonderful, wonderful ceremony and occasion here this morning. I am not going to ramble on because, you, listen, we're talking then we segment. We're talking movement of something that is authentically St. Lucia. Come on, Lucia, until you give me something to work with. Yeah, yeah listen, this is not an all tighty pants, no, this is in the middle of carnival. Lucian Carnival is here, so we're going to lighten up a little bit because this is what it is all about. I recently had the opportunity, or the privilege rather, yeah, I hopped on over to Dominica for the very, very first time in my life. Seriously, I don't feel good about it, but certainly at least it's the first time. And when I got to Dominica, I was amazed that I was walking through and before I opened my mouth, Dominicans were identifying, that is the lady with the powerful voice on RCI radio. So you see that there is already a connection that is, you, you, you know, you, you can't argue with. So it just makes sense now to capitalize on that. And I think this is where, you know, the partners involved in what is about to happen here today has realized the vision and I am absolutely honored, like I said, to be part of this. I'm trying to unlock the phone. Oh, think, <laughs> think it's easy? All right, I'm gonna get right into it. Um, the welcome remarks, the opening remarks will be handled by Yvonne Agar, the chairperson of the National Export Council, please. Welcome, Yvonne. <laughs> Good morning and thank you very much. I wish to acknowledge, I acknowledge that the protocol list has been established and I'd like to formally adopt it. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests and music enthusiasts, welcome to the exciting launch event 
for our talented Denry segment artists as they explore new ventures and new markets. Today marks a significant milestone in the careers of these incredible gifted individuals who are ready to captivate audiences from around the world with their exceptional artistry during Dominica's World Music, Creole Music Festival. As we gather to celebrate this momentous occasion, let us recognize the dedication, passion, and hard work that have brought our artists to this stage. Their creativity know, knows no bounds, and their music has the power to transcend borders, language, and culture. Just two weeks ago, I was in Guadeloupe, and the music of the Denry segment was blaring on the beach in Saint Anne. And Saint Anne is a, a tourism hub in the French countries. Of course, whereas I could not help, I couldn't split in the middle, <laughs> but did show that I can do it Saint Lucian style. You know, to identify that I'm Saint Lucian and the music was from Saint Lucia. Okay. Let us also recognize the work of Export Saint Lucia in always pressing the pedal to ensure that our authentic goods and services reach every corner of the globe, including our regional markets. And this collaboration with the Dominica Music Festival for our Denry segment artists is testament to that. And the support of the government of St. Lucia for the creative industry through its various public service ministries and agencies. Through this expansion into new markets, our artists are not only showcasing their extraordinary talent, but also representing the richness and diversity in St. Lucia music industry on a, regional on a regional stage. The music industry is a dynamic and multifaceted landscape that encompasses a wide array of genres, artists, and markets around the world. With the rise of digital technologies and streaming platforms, not to mention influencers, the industry has become more connected than ever before allowing music to travel across the border and reach audiences Sorry. in every corner of the globe. But evidently, the live performances are the biggest revenue earners for the artists. A lot has been written on the region's music sector, including strategies for growth, its contribution to GDP and employment. But actions like these, where we, we as members of the OECS Econo Economic Union, sorry, can forge meaningful partnership to ensure the growth of our economic actors, such as our artists. Thank you for joining us today to celebrate the launch of our music artists to new markets and to mark with pride yet another milestone for Denry segment, Export St. Lucia, the government of St. Lucia, and the wider St. Lucia community. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much, Miss. Miss Agard, yeah, you did. Yvonne Agard, there it is. Listen, you know, sometimes some people have to put on glasses to see. I think I have to take out my, <laughs> to see, it looks like. Let me drop this down here. Um, I believe at this time we've got a video presentation. So please direct your attention to the screen and let's take in something exciting. St. Lucia, a land of vibrant culture and rhythm, is ready to make waves at Dominica's 24th World Creole Music Festival with its Denry segment. Featuring Serbans, a charismatic performer and innovator in the genre. Not bad in English, not bad in Spanish, but you bad in bum bum, you bad in bum bum. Chebe yon fam, why? Et fay si span, why? Le ou chebe wain, why? Ou ni pou fay kon sa, nou ka fin bay pat, bay pat, bay pat, bay pat. Ou ke pak ben, we la yin dat, mm. Position le mis pin dat, if you pak ben, mi bi twin dat, mm. Show me how you can take that, if yon pak ben, we la yin dat. Tada, se, tada, se, tada, se, anou toun ga se, tada. Ou sa sam dole bak a yad la? Ladies. Meet Umpa, a trailblazer in Denry segment, captivating audiences worldwide with his electrifying energy. Clap, 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 clap,
you to solve them. Like I'm your best friend. All your tears, I wipe them. Your photos, I like them. Girl, have no fear. Anytime you call me, baby, I will be there. Cut a shoulder to cry. It's an emergency. You give me that urgently. You, you, you whine in perfectly. Push me, push like too gently. My girl, you're too sexy. Don't miss out Denry segment at Dominica's World Creole Music Festival. Come on, let's give it up. Wonderful. As I was saying, it's the first time that Denry segment will be featured prominently at the Dominica World Creole Festival. And I think it speaks to the um, Export St. Lucia and the Ministry of Creative, Creative Industries' dedication to showcasing our music on a global standpoint. At this time, I'd like to invite the CEO of the Export St. Lucia, Ms. Sunita Daniel, please. Thank you, Maureen. <laughs> have your glasses. I know, right? <laughs> you have your own. Good morning, everyone, and a special thank you for being here to Minister Hile. I know he's a carnival enthusiast, so to be here after last night, getting home at four, I think. <laughs> thank you, Minister Hile. Thank you, Ambassador Chen, for being here. I think we missed um, the Deputy Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Commerce, Mrs. Charmaine Louis Justin, who's also here with, you, with us. Thank you so much to our partners um, from Dominica and Discover Dominica. Thank you so much for doing this. It is my distinct honor and privilege to welcome you all to this significant event where we have unveiled two of our incredibly talented St. Lucian artists who will be performing at the Dominica Creole, World Creole Music Festival. This occasion is particularly momentous as it marks the first time that the vibrant and energetic Denry segment genre will specifically be featured at this prestigious festival. So we have a Denry segment segment taking part at, <laughs> at Dominica. I know that Ezra kind of opened up the doors um, last year at the festival by really going into some of the artists' um, songs. And so I do discover Dominica will talk about that. But we also want to thank people like Ezra for also putting on and showcasing the different genres that we have. The artist Brandon Shallery Ampel from um, the Denry Valley and Jovan Javier Sabans, also from Denry, are accomplished and will prove to be outstanding ambassadors for the Denry segment genre. St. Lucia and Dominica share a profound connection. Our cultures, histories, and aspirations are deeply intertwined, and we have continually supported each other in our respective journeys towards development and prosperity. One of the most beautiful manifestations of our shared heritage is the use of our Creole language. This linguistic bound is a testament to our common ancestry and the rich cultural tapestry that unites us. The introduction of Denry's segment to the Dominica World Creole Music Festival is a celebration of our shared cultural heritage and an opportunity to showcase the dynamic and innovative spirit of St. Lucian music. Denry's segment, with its infectious rhythms, and I couldn't help moving a while ago, and vibrant audiences will inspire further, okay, sorry, let me go down. With its infections, rhythms, and vibrant audiences will inspire further Denry segment performances in other markets. To our partners in Dominica, we thank you for your unwavering support and collaboration. And we look forward to th strengthening our cultural ties and fostering greater unity within the OECS. Thank you to the Ministry of Tourism, CDF, SLT, for your continued support to the artists and creatives in general. In recent years, we have witnessed a remarkable increase in the export of music and creative arts from St. Lucia. This growth is testament to the incredible talent of our artists and the global appeal of our cultural products. The success of our creative sector is not just a point of pride for St. Lucia, but also a powerful demonstration of the potential of the Caribbean as a service-based economy. By promoting and supporting our creative industries, we can drive sustainable development, enhance regional integration, and create new opportunities for our people. The government of St. Lucia, through Export St. Lucia, has continually invested in and supported the Denry segment genre and other visual and performing artists. Our artists have been given opportunities in both the domestic and international markets, such as the National Independence Expos we've had over the past two years, Export the Runway, which is a fashion show, and international expos such as Expo Dubai. 
We are excited to showcase our creatives at Expo Japan next year. And Minister Hile has already asked me about all the great opportunities available for all the creatives he wants to send to Japan next year. So in conclusion, I extend my heartfelt congratulations to Ampa and Subans. These are one, two of my most favorite artists, I can tell you. And um, we look forward to seeing you represent and mash up things in Dominica. So thank you for, for agreeing to do this. And we thank the government of St. Lucia once again for giving Export St. Lucia the funding. We are completely funded by the government of St. Lucia. So no client, nobody pays a cent for our services. So we thank them for that. And like our chair said a while ago, I was in Antigua a few weeks ago, and I was at an event, and I just kept hearing Denry's segment, and I'm like, I understand if it was in, let's say, Martinique and Guadeloupe, but Antigua, and it just kept on playing, and I felt immensely proud to be a St. Lucian. So thank you all for being here, and congratulations to our artists. Dam from Lucia, pun intended. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Ms. CEO Sunita Daniel. Well, we spoke heavily about integration and cultural exchange, and I think at this time it's the right time to invite the Dominica, the Discover Dominica Authorities Destination Marketing Manager, Andia Ravier. Please put your hands together. Let's welcome. No, you have to you have to let me know if I'm saying it correctly. Oh, I'm butchered. At least I'm not writing the check, so you, you don't need to worry. <laughs> <laughs> Protocol established and formally adopted. And you tried your best. I tried. And it's Reval Rare. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> French. French. It's French. French. And um, I'm not a great public speaker. But I have to say, I feel at home here in St. Lucia. This, this would be my third time here. I have some very, very close friends here. And it is amazing, amazing to be back after maybe about five, six years. So thank you for having us. I first want to express a heartfelt thank you to St. Lucia's Minister of Tourism, the Honorable Dr. Ernest Hillier. From our Minister of Tourism, the Honorable, Minis, um, the Honorable Mrs. Sorry, uh, Dennis Charles Pemberton, thank you for your passion. And thank you for seizing opportunities for your people. To Ms. Danielle and her team at Export St. Lucia, thank you for making this venture a reality. I am so happy to be here with my St. Lucian brothers and sisters, and I'm thrilled and truly honored to be part of this momentous event. Today marks a day of ongoing efforts to forge a partnership, a relationship, which solidifies the sisterhood between two amazing islands, Dominica and St. Lucia. Dominique et St. Lucie. <laughs> As part of those efforts, Dominica is proud to announce that this partnership has birthed the first ever feature of St. Lucia's Denary segment. So as part of those, as part of those efforts, Dominica is proud to announce that this partnership has birthed the first ever feature of St. Lucia's Denary segment on Dominica's World Creole Music Festival's stage. The Denary segment is a music genre unique to St. Lucia. It's an infectious rhythm, capturing audiences regionally and internationally. This year, Dominica's World Creole Music Festival adds to the lineup two artists who are putting Denary segment on the world stage. We are elated to have Ampa and Subrance to give us a sweet taste of St. Lucia on Sunday, 27th October. <laughs> Dominica's World Creole Music Festival has become a staple in the region and stands as one of the most iconic and anticipated music festivals regionally and internationally. We are proud to say that Dominica's World Creole Music Festival was nominated for Music Event of the Year by the Caribbean Music Awards, which will be hosted in New York this month. So, definitely. 
we could see how big World Crowd Music Festival is and uh, your artists will be definitely getting the opportunity to be featured on the world stage. But World Crowd Music Festival isn't just a festival or a music event. It's a celebration of a culture. It's the spirit of a people. It's the representation of a nation. Dominica's World Crowd Music Festival from its inception has been a festival that brings people together. A festival that offers an experience like no other. It's a main act of two week Creole season, a time where Dominicans unite as a proud people to celebrate what makes us, us. Our music, our cuisine, our traditional dances, our madras, head wraps, our entire persona is infused with our Creole culture, very similar to St. Lucia's. It's time, it's a time when we are proudly boasting of who we are as a people. When our country comes alive, where drums of Lapo Cabuit vibrate on the street and Jinping dancers pound our stages. Oh, I have to say, it is a time. What a time. For those of you all who have joined us, I know you guys go home and continue talking about your experience. For this reason, I say, I welcome each and everyone near and far to come to Dominica. Join us in our festivities. Enjoy TV, T Village Creole. Sway your hips during the three night of pulsate, pulsating rhythms. Smack your lips to crab backs at <laughs> Bo La Mer. <laughs> After all the fetting, relax and take some time out to enjoy some of our most scenic natural sights. I promise they will be stayed or stayed stayed engraved in your memory forever. So come early, leave later. Join us and celebrate our Creole season. So we have unveiled Nadia Badston, Kasav, Valiant in our first artist reveal. Now to the lineup, we welcome Ampa and Savas. <laughs> Stay tuned, follow us on Dominica Festivals on Facebook and Instagram as we continue to unveil the World Crowd Music Festival's lineup. And as we gear up for World Crowd Music Festival, which will be held on the 25th to the 27th of October. For more information on Dominica's World Crowd Music Festival, you can go to www.dominicafestival.com. And for all of us who are interested in, in booking, getting your flights, getting yourself to Dominica for World Crown Music Festival, you can definitely call or WhatsApp us at 1767-275-7298 or 1767-275-2793. You could also email us as daconcierge1 at dominica.com or daconcierge2 at dominica.com. Our trusted team, is willing to assist and are waiting by the phone to answer all WhatsApps and calls and waiting by the desktops and laptops to answer all emails. And I'm truly looking forward to seeing each and everyone here at World Creole Music Festival 2024. Again, thank you for having us. At this time, we'd like to invite the man of the hour. I think it's only fitting to invite the man of the hour and try to get his government name. His government name is Brandon Shalry. Please help me to welcome Umpa, please, to offer some remarks. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, I want to say thank you to Export St. Lucia, um, Dominica Old Creole Festival, the government of St. Lucia, um, for this great opportunity. I'm very excited and looking forward to mash up the festival. Well represented. And my fans go back to you after you mash up. Don't forget to bring my take for me. Thank you, thank you, getting out. <laughs> don't worry, you had to do something. I figure, I, yeah, yeah, I figure something had to be done. Throw something in there. Um, Pajo, I'm going to go to the festival. I'm going to go to the festival. 
Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're leaving you here. We're not bringing right, you. Right, okay. So you ever bring me? I'll, no. sure. I'll come on my own. Bye, Jordan. Yeah? Um, I forgot to mention you, Mr. Hile. Thank you also. You know what I mean? It's a chance. Yeah. Here's your mic. You're not doing nothing else? <laughs> so you're sending on the back of that thing? Yeah, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Usa sample the back of your left. That is it. You see? <laughs> Wonderful. Better you than me, certainly. Let's give it up for our artists and we know for a fact that, you know, he has been doing it. So we have no doubt that he and, of course, Subans is going to give a remarkable account of themselves and St. Lucia and the genre again. All your mashing up, Dominica, we know that. But they don't mind. They like the music. That is why they know my voice so well, because they tune in every time to listen to the Denry segment music. What they don't know is how we tune in to, to listen to the booyah. <laughs> But it's, it speaks to the, you know, that's right, it's fair exchange, and we love it. Integration it is. All right, at this time, though, um, is Anya with us? Yeah. Anya is here. All right, we'd like to invite uh, for some brief remarks uh, Anya Whitfield, officer in charge of St. Lucia Tourism Authority. Please welcome Anya. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Protocol already established. The export, the agency export St. Lucia complements the work of the St. Lucia Tourism Authority. In showcasing our goods and services around the world, it brings St. Lucia into light in terms of the products and services that we offer. It complements the marketing work that we do on a global stage when our products and services are available globally. And um, it is only in recent times that the work of export have pushed the service and cultural component um, for us to recognize that these are exportable products, services, and um, it recognizes the uniqueness that our island offers. Denry segment in particular has been growing on the global stage. Our CEO of Export mentioned um, the presence of the genre in their trade markets, um, Dubai being the, the, the biggest um, um, export market that we've, we've, we've heard the music come from. And the rise of the Denry segment creates a strong pull factor for our tourists um, drawing music enthusiasts and cultural explorers onto the island. Our visitors are eager to experience the island's dynamic music scene and participate in the events where Denry segment is featured. The genre's popularity is contributing to increased interest in St. Lucia as a travel destination. We cannot deny that. And it can be heard at popular bars, nightclubs, and event spaces across the globe. The Denry segment has garnered significant attention in prominent publications, including Travel and Leisure mag magazine, features in, such as reputable media outlets that highlights the genre's growing influence and its role in promoting St. Lucia's cu culture globally. These features serve as a testament to the genre's impact and its potential to elevate St. Lucia's pr profile on the world stage. We are grateful for Export St. Lucia's recognition um, to partner with Dominica World Creole Festival to bring our genre to their international festival. And we don't say regional, we go international festival. We recognize the region as a tourism mar um, market for St. Lucia. And we recognize that visitors come in for your international festival and St. Lucia's unique and organic genre, the Denry segment, being featured at your World Creole Music Festival also presents an opportunity for marketing St. Lucia. Wherever the Denry segment is mentioned, that means St. Lucia is mentioned, and St. Lucia gets the prominence for marketing, and we thank you for that partnership with Export St. Lucia. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you, Anya. Thank you so very much.
And indeed, everybody is, you know, sharing some sentiments that is very vital here today. And especially we, we're talking a lot about, you know, the, the artists and their reach and, you know, the importance of getting them. But let's talk a little bit about economic impact. Let's talk about future opportunities, what it means. And at this time, I'd like to invite with the remarks, the future address, the Minister of Tourism, Dr. Honorable Ernest Hilaire is the Minister of Tourism, Investment, Creative Industries, Culture, and Information. Please help me to welcome Minister Hilaire. Thank you very much. Of course, protocol has already been established, but let me recognize Excellency Peter Sheng from the um, Embassy of Taiwan and China. Let me recognize the Chair of the Export Council and CEO um, to also oh, recognize um, other special invited guests. During Carnival Week, there is no feature address. Uh, 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 that's not possible, um, um, I must tell you. And I'm a little disappointed in most of you here. You all look so fresh. I think you're taking the Prime Minister's word of only ginger ale <laughs> and shandy, too literal. Um, that, so ginger ale has become a code word for drinking a proper drink. So if I need a drink, I just tell Mondi, can I have a ginger ale, please? <laughs> and she knows what to bring for me. So, um, but I'm really pleased we're here um, this morning. Uh, and when the idea was first brought up with me by Sunita, I thought it was a real fantastic idea. And many of us for years, we've been practicing this kind of you know, integration between people's music, food. Um, certainly in my case, I've been going to the music festival for many, many years, many, many years. Um, too many to even mention. And, and I'll tell you, I, I heard the comment was made about Ezra, but I don't know if Mondi will remember, when I saw her at the festival in that year, she didn't look like she would remember anything after. <laughs> but in, in 2019, the last festival I went to, Moto actually featured, was featured, huh? So Moto actually um, performed in 2019. That was the last festival before um, COVID. And of course, since COVID, coming into government, I've not been allowed to go um, anywhere <laughs> during Creole Heritage Month, um, because everybody expects you to be in St. Lucia as minister, but I think there's a meeting somewhere overseas. I think I will go to it and find my way to St. Lucia through Dominica. Um, but it's been really fantastic, the relationship between Dominica and St. Lu and, and St. Lucia, really fantastic. Over the years, we've had many outstanding Dominican bands from Exile One, Grand Max, um, that have come to St. Lucia, Midnight Grovers. I think last year, Rainforest Jazz in Barbono, Midnight Grovers played, yes. played there. This year in Deriso, Jazz, we had WCK. We had Michelle Henderson this year on main stage at St. Lucia Jazz. And those of us who have you know, been involved in, in the, that aspect of our cultural expression, we know so many talented Dominican bands have come to St. Lucia to perform all over the country. And likewise, St. Lucians go into Dominica to perform. So we've always had this strong um, relationship. I think in some ways we are probably more united and similar than most of the Caribbean countries because of our Creoleness, that blend of, of French, you know, English, African, Indian heritage, and the way it, it, it mixes um, is probably best exemplified in Dominican society and St. Lucian society. Um, so this is just a logical extension of that similarity. So we're really excited. And of course, for the Denry segment artists, um, you know, I know that you'll have a fantastic time. Um, you have a premier festival, um, has really grown, and you have to have a lot of stamina for it. You know, I was saying to Ambassador, the St. Lucia Jazz Festival has a, a certain structure about it. You know, you come to St. Lucia Jazz, you dress a certain way, you pigeon point, and by 11 o'clock it finishes, you probably go on another quiet line. When you go to Dominica Creole Festival, you have to have stamina. <laughs> and, and you have to be able to last. You know, I mean, if you're going to travel to Dominica, you have to be ready. You literally have to, before you go there, you know, some of us have to go to the gym and make sure, you know, the, the stamina level is up because, you know, it's, it's non-stop and nothing better than after a long night to have a cold bath in one of those rivers and waterfalls, whatnot. So it's a fantastic experience. But also, 
I mean, hundreds, maybe now thousands of St. Lucians go to Dominica every year for the festival. Huh? I mean, when you trace the growth over the years, um, I saw the numbers for last year. And let me tell you, there were a lot of St. Lucians that went to Dominica. And I heard, you know, you were giving out numbers as to how to arrange. We know how to get to Dominica, trust me. <laughs> You see if Ampa misses his flight, I sure he can get a canoe from, from, from the valley to take him. You know, Minister Sean Edwards is not here, but I always tease in him about all those canoes that live in the valley to go up north. You know, I'm sure Ampa, if he misses his flight, can get to Dominica on a canoe from St. Lucia. So we know how to get to Dominica. And the only, no, no, it's a really amazing thing as, as people to people. You almost know where you're going to stay in Dominica. You know, Dominica is not known for having as many hotels as here, St. Lucia or other country. But we all know where we're going to stay. And even when we don't have somewhere to stay, we know we'll end up staying somewhere. That's just how it is. The first time I went to Dominica, I can tell you, there were about 15 of us in a house. You know, seriously. It's like a two-bedroom house, you know. <laughs> and, and, you know, so many of us just went, you know. And we carried about two cases of Chairman's Reserve with us, you know, just as backup in case, you know, we couldn't get enough local rum. But that's how it was, you know, groups of St. Lucians going over to Dominica to enjoy the festival. And the festival has grown. It's become world class. In in organization, in production, in appeal. And you know, we're really glad that you're given an opportunity for our artists to be part of that experience and that exposure. So thank you so very much for giving us the space to do so. We wish you a very, very exciting festival again this year. I will try, I promise I will try to sneak in and enjoy um, at least one of these. I have an excuse now uh, that Ampa is performing and I had to be there. I had to be there. I saw Ampa mash up Dubai. And I think he needs my support in Dominica. <laughs> you know, I think so. So, I, and I know he's planning to go to Japan next year. So if he doesn't deliver in Dominica, he's not going to Japan next year. All right? But let me say to you, Export Council, even beyond the music, I think we need to explore other ways in which we can build the relationship. Because in the Creole fashion, Dominica is we ahead. I mean, when you go to Dominica and you see the expressions in terms of fashion um, in the Creole Heritage Month, you know, we know we're there. Um, and we too can benefit from some of your creatives in terms of fashion, um, exploring opportunities in St. Lucia. Um, many of us in here, we get our clothes custom made for the Creole Month, whatnot. And Dominica has a lot to offer. So you two can also explore the relationship in terms of, of fashion and other, other arts and craft. And likewise, we two can bring some of our stuff over and, and strengthen that relationship. So music might be the start, but let us explore other ways in which you know, we can build that relationship and explore other possibilities. Dominica is exciting. I recommend to anybody to go to Dominica. And especially when you're stressed, like I am, you have to have. <laughs> You know, a, a little outlet, and Dominica would offer that for me. So I'm saying all of that because Mondi is the Prime Minister's attache, and I know she'll go back and tell him. <laughs> so he will hear that I am making a kiss for me to be given permission to be in Dominica. So thank you so very much to our Dominican well, sisters who are here, um, but the entire Dominican family. We see ourselves as one family, and we're really thankful for this opportunity. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Minister Hilaire. Certainly, talk about putting your money where your mouth is and solidifying partnership and creating bonds. That's exactly where I see this is heading. And only good things you can augur. You can augur only augur good things from some some, some such. Um, we we have a little announcement. Oh, there you go. Come. Yes, please. Dominica, before we get into the back canal and start taking the photo ops, Dominica has an announcement. Is it announcing that Flies has been paid for a few of the people? I hope. <laughs> All right, so uh, good morning to everybody. I'm Monel Alexis, Public Relations, Communication Specialist. Happy to announce that we have collaborated with Red International. So we're not just here, Red Unlimited. So we'll be at Call Me Red to promote the festival and also at the Red Brunch. We're also going to be doing something with other uh, media houses while we're in St. Lucia for promotions. And we're going to Carnival because the Carnival is Monday and Tuesday. We have Triple K out of Dominica on the road. So we will be promoting Dominica's Carnival, but Dominica's World Creole Music Festival while we're here in St. Lucia. We thank you very much for this opportunity and we're looking forward to 
further deepening that bond between Dominica and St. Lucia. And remember, we are one people. Dominica welcomes you to her shores. We have several waterfalls, rivers, we have lakes. Our people are awesome. The food is delicious. Everything you want in St. Lucia and you cannot have it, come to Dominica and you will get it. We will give it to you. And Mr. Minister, you want to come to Dominica? Do me a favor. Let's swap jobs. Come to Dominica. Work with us, okay? So when I'm going to Dominica, you're going to come and your Prime Minister will understand. Thank you very much once again for this opportunity. And see you at the World Korea Music Festival, October 25th, 26th, and 27th. Thank you. Not bad in Spanish, but you bad in bum bum. You bad in bum bum. Why? Chebe your thumb. Why? At face is man. Why? Let Uchebe wing.